Hey, Tim. How's it going? How are the kids? Uh, yeah, the kids are alright, Dr. Oxlong. Tim Jr. just actually recently graduated from preschool. We're all really proud of him. For the last time, Tim. You can just call me Mike. But I'm glad to hear about Timmy. Tell him I said hi. But you aren't just here to catch up, are you? You're right, Doc. I've had all sorts of weird symptoms lately, and I haven't really been feeling myself. Don't, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Right this way. On oh, scene change later. Alright, so what exactly is the problem here, Tim? Well, for starters, I have been having diarrhea for a long time. Maybe more than a week. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have also noticed that I've lost a lot of weight recently. Yeah, alright, that's pretty strange. And on top of all that, I've noticed- Alright, let's cut to the chase. You're a raging closet homosexual. Wait, but I have a wife. Yeah, but you're gay. You like men. It's okay. I do too. Wait, what the hell? Let's just ignore that part. But I'm sorry, Tim. You have AIDS. Wait, wait, what? Why? Am I Magic Johnson? And how, how do I have AIDS? Oh, that's simple, my dear patient. It's from the Modern Warfare 3 beta. No! Wow, did you have to go? And that reminds me, my dear gamers, but the Modern Warfare 3 beta has been opened and probably closed by the time this video comes out. Sorry for that long intro, but I needed my creative juices to flow like Niagara Falls in the blood of my victims. But back to the main topic, I decided to play a little bit of the Modern Warfare 3 beta for myself, and one thing I could describe the game as is pretty boring. If you're looking for a before you buy type video, then don't buy this game, unless you're the average COD fanboy who's 600 pounds and injects G Fuel right into his veins and snorts Dorito dust like myself. When I heard about the beta dropping on Xbox on October 14th, I was as giddy as you can be to absolutely excrete my waste all over this game. To be fair, I didn't think this beta would be good at all, considering these were the same guys who made Vanguard. Stabs a guy with a hammer. Stabs a guy with a hammer. Chicken. But alas, I ran down to my Xbox as fast as I could and started installing the beta. The first thing the game asked me to do is sign the user agreement, which probably said that they had the right to bust into my house with a 12 gauge and shove the shotgun into my cheeks and fire. But nobody reads these anyways, so I skipped through all that. I finally got into the menu and realized that the beta for normal players wasn't until the 16th and that the degenerates who paid $100 to a company that rarely makes fast games on launch to play two days earlier. I'm thinking about killing this. Oh my god! So after attempted suicide, it turned to the 16th and I jumped out of my hospital bed and was finally able to play the beta. The first thing I did loading in was to check to see what the new operators were in this game. And I'm glad I did, because we get to see some critically acclaimed operators, such as Makarov, who shops at Balenciaga, and Ghost, who shops at Balenciaga, and Captain Sideburns, who shops at Balenciaga, you know what is with all the drip? Before I could think about killing myself again, we loaded into High Rise, in a cult classic from Modern Warfare 2, and this was a thrilling gameplay the trailer promised. And this is what we actually got. Moral of the story, just because Eminem is played over a trailer, doesn't mean the game is good. But enough with all this negativity, as when I loaded into my second game, I got a map called Skid Row. Not to be confused with the band, or the district-wide trap house in Los Angeles. 
and I decided to choose a class called the Demolitionist. In this class, I got a cool pew pew and a blicky, and I figured out very quickly that I could gangster fire my rifle, and things turned into an average day in Chicago pretty fast. Along the way, I found this piece of art so putrid that it reminded me a little bit of your mother. As you could tell, I hate my life, but anyways, I was just running around trying to find a reason to keep living when I realized that I could shoot suicide drones from out of nowhere. And that's when I remembered that I'd shoved them up my butthole a couple months prior, and now they were going to good use. I now had a new mission, and that was to kill someone with a suicide drone. It took a while, and a lot of self-inflicted murder, but I finally managed to kill someone through the smoke. And that is what you would call... Swag. After playing for a while, you could clearly tell that the game had a few glaring problems, such as people spontaneously appearing in front of you, or your crosshair is still on your screen when you die, or your hand turning into jello when you tax sprint. I mean, what even is that? But alas, I stuck with the game because I didn't want to go to my grandma's funeral, and I was rewarded with being able to choose whatever gun I wanted. And I chose this AK looking thing, which wasn't even an AK, but an M4. And I only realized later that the game didn't even register that I had chosen that weapon. Yippee Kanye, homeboys. I'm gonna find your address. Anyways, I can't see much here, except that this map sucks to hooky bones, and my morale was on all time low. And the only thing keeping me sane was the gangsta firing mode option. It was at this point where I decided this would be the final match of the beta, and I lucked out because while I was debating if decapitating or kneecapping was a better alternative punishment for children, I saw a crate drop down from the sky, and I turned into a kleptomaniac and immediately turned into Jesus. The suit had a built-in doom musicinator, so that was pretty cool. So, that's how you got your AIDS then. Well, you're gonna die in two seconds anyways, so it doesn't even matter. Wait, wait, what about, what about my family? Oh, oh, oh me mommy! Oh.